BFIT Nation, welcome back to a special Workout Wednesday edition of our BFIT Live programmed workouts, okay? Uh, get settled in today. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a comment. Let us know what you are up to today. Let us know where you're moving today. This is our BFIT Live program workout where you get to join myself and my special guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, on a programmed cardio and resistance based live workout. So if you have your space available, if you have a pair of dumbbells, that's gonna be perfect for today's workout. If you have any hydration, go ahead and grab that, grab that towel, grab that water. Uh, you don't need a mat for today, but if you do have one uh, and if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and grab that as well. Um, again, I'm joined with my partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, I'm good. Awesome. I tell you, it feels nostalgic being in a gym. It's like <laughs> pre-COVID guys. So <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad to be here with you today, Roy. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, again, we're joined together um, in this studio space, but uh, any of these workouts, either pre previous or this current workout today, can be accomplished anywhere, whether you're at home, like Sergeant Barry usually is, uh, or uh, on the road, on the go. Again, these programmed workouts are geared to be effective and short space, short-timed, uh, and anywhere you can accomplish these anywhere uh, that you're at. So again, if you're new to the program, welcome to our BFIT Live programmed workout. We are just under a 20 minute workout. Um, we will go through demonstrations for you before we jump into the workout. And we will also go into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies prepared and ready to work. So the timing for today, team, we have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Okay, giving us a little bit of extra time to hydrate, kind of reset our minds and our bodies for that next a few rounds that we have available. Um, again, uh, just under a 20 minute active workout along with some uh, warm up and uh, some demonstrations. So capping us off at about 30, 35 minutes. So again, join us, uh, lend, leave us a note in the comments below and let us know where you're watching from, let us know where you're joining from. All right, team. Um, so let's go through the four movements that we have available for you today. So if you grab a pair of dumbbells, it doesn't have to be too heavy. Uh, we're looking at three lower body movements along with three upper body movements to really kind of take advantage of the full body workout that we have available, as well as a core activated movement for movement number four. Um, let's go into demonstrations, okay? Um, let's go into our first movement for today. So we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. Sorry, Barry's gonna help me uh, demonstrate as well. So we're gonna have a pair of dumbbells here. We're looking, at a, we're looking at a dumbbell alternating reverse lunge into an overhead press. So let's go ahead and break that down. We're gonna front rack our dumbbells, exactly like Sergeant Barry is doing. Our wrist is gonna be stacked underneath our elbows. Nice, comfortable position here. So go ahead and tighten up that dumbbell closer to our shoulders. That way it's not so much stress on our shoulders. And we're gonna go down into extend back into a reverse lunge. So we'll take that right leg back into our reverse lunge, drop that rear knee down. All right, and we're gonna come back to standing position, driving through that front leg. And from there, at standing position, we're gonna raise those dumbbells up into an overhead press, neutral grip, so our palms are gonna be facing each other on the way up, nice and controlled on the way down. Go ahead and alternate left and right leg into your reverse lunge. And then come back up nice and comfortably, steady into that overhead press, okay? That's gonna be movement number one, okay? Movement number two within our workout, we have lateral lunges to a hop. So I'll take this one. We'll go into a lateral lunge. So with these, what's fun about this workout is we're working in different planes of motion, okay team? So we're looking at a front movement, we're looking at reverse plane, and we're looking at side to side. So lateral movements, lateral lunge with an added hop. We can remove the hop if it's not with us for today. But for this workout, we're going into a lateral lunge with a hop. So start in the center of your workout space here. You're gonna extend that right or left leg out, making sure that our toes are in aligned with one another. We're gonna push those hips back, keep that chest up into that lateral lunge position, right? Chest is up, head is looking straight, knee is tracking over the front of the toe, drive up, back to standing position. And once you're here, if you have it within you today, go ahead and add in a hop. That's gonna really, again, I'm kind of tracking, that's gonna really force us to stabilize our core and engage that lower body. Again, lateral lunge here to a hop. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna take 20 seconds to the right side and then again 20 seconds to the left side Totaling out to our 40 seconds of work. All right team. That's gonna be movement number two Movement number three. We're gonna grab that one pair of dumbbell one dumbbell here We have a <clears throat> lower body movement here. So we're gonna drop down into a squat position 
front rack that dumbbell. We're going to take five reps here with a forward press. So we're down into our squat position. Nice hips are pushed back. And from here, we're going to extend our arms out into a pressing position, okay? Be mindful of that dumbbell. It doesn't take a lot of weight to really feel that effectiveness in activating our chest as well as our shoulders, okay? So five reps here. Out of those five reps, we're going to stand back up, reset, drop back down into your squat position, and then perform another five reps, okay? If we don't have a dumbbell for this movement or any of the movements, go ahead and make a nice strong fist for the other two movements that we'll uh, show you on that next round. But for this one, you can also accomplish with your hands facing forward and really pressing your palms together, right? Nice press, nice press within your palms, squeeze all the way through that full range of motion at the top, the forward, all the extension, and then coming back to your chest, okay? That's gonna be movement number three. And the last and final movement here, really attacking our core, we're gonna go down into a plank diagonal reach. So we're gonna come back to a high plank position. This is gonna be home base for us, okay? So if any type of, uh, if any additional movement after this gets a little too challenging, always come back to the high plank, okay? So with our high plank position, we want our hands stacked underneath our shoulders, our hips are square to the floor, our feet are shoulder width apart, all right? From here, we're gonna take alternate plank diagonal reaches. So we're gonna take alternate hand to alternate leg, um, so right arm goes out, right hand goes out, and right leg goes out. Then you're back to your home position, your high plank position. From here, your left arm goes out, and your right leg goes out, and you're back to that high plank position. So almost like um, a little song and dance here, a little left arm, right leg, right leg, left arm. <laughs> so that's going to be movement number four. We can scale up and progress through the four rounds, or we can start off with that high plank position. And then we can, uh, you know, gradually increase as we go. All right, team? But those are the four movements for today. Again, if you're new to the BFIT Live program, this is your chance to get active with us. This is your chance to really focus on yourselves, your health, your wellness, to so start off week three of the new year. So, <clears throat> um, again, drop us a note in the comments below. Keisha, good to see you. Eddie, uh, way to go. Yes, thank you for joining us. Yes, we will, Eddie, by the way. Uh, a lot of these movements can be in a seated position, so you can take the lower body out of the equation and really focus on those upper body movements. Heather, thank you as well. I hope you are joining us, getting ready here for these next few minutes. We're going to go ahead and go into some dynamic stretching before we get into the workout here. So let's start off with our dynamic quad stretch. We're going to take that right leg. We're going to extend it back to our glute. Our left arm is going to come up overhead. We're going to feel that stretch in our hips really pushing our hips forward and extending that arm nice and up. You're gonna feel that movement and that um, <clears throat> mobility in our shoulders. Go ahead and come back down and reset as needed, okay? We'll do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds or less. So go ahead and perform these at your pace, at your tempo, at your comfort level. And again, hips push forward. You can feel that stretch and activation in our hip flexors, our quads our arm as we go up to work on mobility with our shoulders. Good, a little higher and a little forward push with our hips for the last one. All right, team, let's go into that lateral lunge here. Since we do have some lateral movements that we're gonna tackle for today, so we're gonna take a nice wide stance, wider than shoulder width apart. From here, our toes are fixed forward and we're gonna shift our weight to the left and to the right, just like we are going to do in our lateral lunge. So. Nice, comfortable movements. It doesn't have to be too aggressive or too deep. We're just working on really opening up our hips, feeling a stretch in the inner part of our thigh, and really just <clears throat> warming up our body. We have a few different movements that we're gonna tackle for today, again, and these movements can be as comfortable or as challenging as you make them, right? We, all we ask is that you give us all of your effort that you have for today. <laughs> All right, a few more here, last three seconds, two, one. All right, team, let's go into body weight squats. We have one specific movement, movement number three, that we have a squat to perform. So let's go into a few, I say a few, about 15 or 20 reps of a comfortable body weight squat. Again, just to really open up those hips, 
Focus on our form, keeping our chest up nice and controlled, driving up through your heels. Thinking about our breathing as well. Our breath cadence helps out a lot when we are working through each specific movement. So a nice deep breath on the way down. Exhale as you drive up back to standing position, opening up those hips once again. Last three here, two, and last one. All right, let's think about that upper body movement here for the last dynamic stretch. So we're looking at YTW. So we're gonna look at performing a nice Y, a T, and a W shape with our arms. So we're gonna set ourselves up. As always, you kind of wanna set yourself as far as your foot placement goes with a nice solid foundation, right? We always wanna ground ourselves nice and strong to the floor so our feet are shoulder width apart and we have that soft bend at our knees. From here, bring our hands to center here because we're gonna make a big Y, thumbs facing the back of the room here. Feeling that stretch in the middle of our back, a big T, bringing those shoulder blades together, back to center and a big W here. Feeling a little bit more on that, those interior delts in front of our shoulders here. Big Y once again, a little taller, a little higher. Good, big T, nice deep breath in. Exhale as you come back to center, a big W. Good, one more time here, a big Y. A little taller, a big T, and a big W to finish us out here. Good, really sitting in that one. All right, team, we are good to go, Sardenberry. We ready to go? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I feel like I worked out already. <laughs> so, and, and that's the great part about warming up and your dynamic stretches is that it really gives you the time to kind of get your full body warmed up. So we just, we don't want to start off nice and cold. We really want to warm up our body, warm up our muscle groups and things like that. So that way we are prepared and ready to work. All right, team, let's go ahead and start my timer over here and then we will jump into the workout. As a reminder, movement number one, dumbbell alternating reverse lunge to an overhead press, lower body and that upper body press. Movement number two, we have a lateral lunge with a hop. Movement number three, we are into a squat with a forward press. And movement number four, we have plank diagonal reaches. So opposite hand to opposite leg is going to finish us out there. All right, team, let's go ahead and start this timer really quickly. All right, and again, leave, leave us a note in the comments below. Mary, thank you for joining us as well. All right, team, here we go. We again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. So in 10 seconds, we are gonna go ahead and start with that reverse lunge to overhead press. Five seconds here. Find your workout space, find the space. 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go, front rack position with our dumbbells. Take that right leg and extend it back. Reverse lunge here, drive up to standing position, and then we're into our overhead press. I like to say the first round we learn the movements and the second round we will own the movements. So work through these movements here, really finding out how your body is performing today. Each day is different, so we may feel a little bit more comfortable today or a little more tight today. Work through these last seven seconds here. Out in five, last three, two, one, and recover here for 20 seconds. Put the weights down, we have a lateral lunge with a hop. So find the center of your workout space here. We are gonna lateral lunge out to the right for 20 seconds, and then we will go to the left for those next 20. Five seconds here. Again, making sure we push those hips back, keeping our chest up. 40 seconds on the clock. We are down into that reverse, I'm sorry, down into that lateral lunge, and then drive up into that hop. <clears throat> we need to scale back a little bit. We can go on to that reverse lunge and stop back at standing position, just like I'm doing right now. Sergeant Barry with a knee drive has a scaled up version of what I'm doing. And then if we wanna go ahead and accentuate that hop, we can switch over to the left side here when you get that chance. Lateral lunge, there you go. There we are, last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one and recover here. All right, team, we're grabbing one dumbbell here for a squat to a forward press. 13 seconds here, find our breathing, find our breath, find our squat position. Again, feet are shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. We're gonna hold our dumbbell from the left and to the right. 
and we are down into our lower squat position. Hold that squat. We're going to extend out into a press, really squeezing the head of those dumbbells or that dumbbell as you extend out. Five reps here. Four. Last one here, and we're going to stand up. Good. Drive up to squat or standing position. Reset. Drop back down, and we are in to the next five reps. Find a tempo that works for you, that's comfortable for you. Last eight seconds, drive up, right back down, last five. Out in three, two, one, and recover. Good job. And remember to breathe. And remember to breathe. <laughs> Sorry, with the cues here. <laughs> 13 seconds here. We are on the floor with our plank diagonal region. So let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Absolutely, don't forget to breathe, it is important. And it helps with pushing that resistance around. All right, here we go, 40 seconds on the clock, high plank position, our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders, feet shoulder width apart, right hand goes out, left leg goes out, really touching a few inches above and a few inches into our right leg and left leg extension, keeping our hips square to the floor here, back is nice and flat, Good. 15 seconds. Nice control here. Work through it here. And if we need to scale back, let's hold that high plank position here. Last three, two, one. All right. First round is complete. First round is in the books. Now we're warm. <laughs> now we're warm. We thought we were warm with the dynamic stretching. So now's a great time to find your water find any hydration that you may have. If you need to kind of towel off or reset your room, maybe reset the resistance that you have if you have dumbbells available. Think about scaling up for these next second, third, and fourth round. Again, so if you're new to, to the show here, welcome to our BFIT Live program workout. We're in round two of four of a live resistance and cardio-based workout for today. 20 seconds of rest here to recover before we jump in to the next round. All right, Araceli, thank you for joining us here. 10 seconds with our Shop My Exchange BFIT family here. Five seconds, two dumbbells here. Reverse lunge into a press, front rack position. Here we go. Right or left leg goes back, drive up, overhead press. Again, each of these movements to your fitness level today, if you don't have any dumbbells, I want you to make that nice strong fist with your hands. 21 seconds here. Keep working. And no need to go with our pace here. If it's a little faster or a little slower, dive in, dig deep, and keep pressing. Eight seconds. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. Last three, two, one and time. Good job. Recover here. Lateral lunge with the hop. If we stuck with that lateral lunge for that first round, let's scale it up to a lateral lunge with a knee drive, okay? That's going to be round two for us. If you were at the hop, continue with that hop. To the right in three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> lateral lunge here with the hop. Okay, that little extra, that little added hop, right, really forces us to work on our balance, on our control, stability, keeping our core nice and tight. 20 seconds here. Let's switch over to our left and that next available rep. Keeping our chest up, pushing those hips back. Good. 10 seconds here. Out in seven. It's like we're dancing. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds here. I'm going to finish out those 40 seconds. <laughs> as, as we like to do, finish out the full duration of the time, right? 40 seconds of work. Let's get after it for those 40 seconds. Squats to forward press coming up in five seconds. Find our space here. Find our squat position in two, one. Here we go. Again, if you, don't have, if you do not have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and Squeeze those palms together. We can be just as effective here. Nice control here with the modification. Out of your five. If you choose to, go ahead and stand back up. Reset. 
and you're right back in it. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can get a lot from this press moving outward in this variation. Good. Last eight seconds. Come back up, reset, or finish out your time. Three, two, one, time. Good job. Woo. Yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> All right. Good burn. We like that one. We like that one. Okay, we are on the floor here for round two, movement for plank diagonal reaches. Again, if you were in that high plank position, let's hold that position. If we can reach out with our arms, let's reach out with our arms. If we can extend our feet, let's extend our feet. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Nice and challenging. So we're working off of two points of contact on the floor, really forcing us to keeping our core nice and tight. So our belly button, our navel should be pushed back towards our spine, right? Our hips square to the floor. Again, our hands are underneath our shoulders for the most support and comfort. 13 seconds here. Good, last eight. Finish it out with us, P Fit Nation. Add in five. Last three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Awesome. Ooh. Again, hydration here. Make sure to hydrate. Make sure to towel off. I think it's about that time for us as well. Let's go ahead and come down close. Be Fit Nation. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, any modifications that you would like to see, leave us a note in the comments below. All right, team? Good job, Be Fit Nation. Again, new year, week three. Now is a great time to start that new or spark that new or sustain that active lifestyle. 20 seconds left here for recovery. I always say I have starting berry with myself and we always, we work out together. It keeps me accountable and partners like coworkers, spouses, kids can really help keep you accountable in Pets. moving. Pets as well, absolutely. Pets. Five seconds here, grab those two dumbbells, reverse lunge to a press, coming up and Two, one, all right, team, here we go. Find that top of that workout space. Back into that reverse lunge. Overhead press. Good. Nice, strong movements. We wanna move with the purpose here. So be mindful of our positioning. Good. Not only that, but this front rack position really forces us to engage our biceps as well to this nice isometric hold. So our biceps are even activated with this movement. Seven seconds here. Five and out. Three, two, one, and recover. Drop the bells here. Just in time. Got the rep in just in time. All right, lateral lunge with our added hop. If last round we did the knee drive, let's add in this hop for round number three. Continue with the hop. If you have it with us, we're going to the right in three, Two, one, here we go, team. Lateral lunge here. I'm off. <laughs> I'm gonna catch myself. Sergeant Barry, you take it away. <laughs> there we go, to the right here, eight more seconds. It really is a full, a full uh, duo, duo workout here. 17 seconds here. Let's go ahead and switch to the left here. Good. Show some love to the left side here. 10 seconds, and we are out. Good. Last five seconds. Make sure to move those arms with that added hop. Two, one, and time. One dumbbell for the next movement. So with that added hop, really think about how you walk, how you run, right? Opposite hand to opposite knee. That's the same thing that we're doing with that added hop. We're driving that knee up, opposite hand to opposite knee. We're grabbing one bell here with our forward squat to press. Coming up, two, one. Here we go, team. Round three, we're working. Pressing that dumbbell out. Full extension here into our low squat, keeping our chest up as well. Good. Last 25 here, reset, stand back up, and you are dropping down. Again, Sergeant Barry is really great about her form right here. Our, her knees are tracking over her toes. She's pushing her hips back, she's extending to that full press extension right here, okay? Her head is looking forward. Great movement here, right back up. Last five seconds here as she drops down. Digs deep for these last two, 
and one, and resets here. 20 seconds of rest here to recover, and we are down on the floor for our plank diagonal reaches. Good job. All right, team, find your space here. Plank diagonal reaches here. So again, core is nice and tight and engaged. Three seconds here. Two, one, we are up here. Round three. Stay with us here, BFit Nation. One rep at a time. Sergeant Barry and I are with you every step of the way. Good, nice control here. Good. 20 seconds left here. Here's the challenge. If we can reach up a few inches off the floor, let's go ahead and do that with our arms. <laughs> with our arms for this one. 10 seconds here. Good. Out in seven. Head is looking straight down at our fingertips. It's gonna give us that nice spinal alignment. Last two, one, and time. Good job as I peel myself off the floor here. 60 seconds of rest, round three in the books, heading into our fourth and final round. Ooh, okay. All right, BFit Nation, let me come in close. All right, team. Again, show us some love in the comments. Be sure to share this workout. We have additional workouts available for you on our Facebook platform. On our Exchange Facebook platform, look for the videos under that. Look for our playlist, BFIT playlist to be exact, and that'll take you through our full catalog of BFIT Live programmed workouts. We have different workouts available. We have cardio workouts. We have resistance-based workouts. We have a hybrid of both. Go ahead and visit our Facebook page here. 10 seconds left to recover until we head into that last and final round, which our last round is... Best round. It's our best round. Our last round is our best round. Three seconds here, two dumbbells to be exact. Let's grab a two. Top of our workout space here, reverse lunge into an overhead press. 40 seconds on the clock here. Again, go at your pace here. If we can pick up our tempo, now is the round to do it for each of these four movements. All right, doesn't take much. And I think, like Eddie was mentioning, Eddie asked if there are any movements, any modifications for anyone that has uh, as, as a wheelchair, uh, is in a wheelchair, wheelchair is accessible. So this same movement can be applied to without the reverse lunge, right? You're just going into an overhead press in a seated position. Last two, one, and recover here. All right, team. Down into our final lateral lunge with a hop. I'm not gonna mess up this time. We are going to our right, adding in the hop for myself. Five seconds here, team. All right, in three, two, one. Here we go, team. To the right here, 20 seconds to the right to be exact. Add in that hop if you haven't already. Just try it out. The hop doesn't, be, doesn't have to be as high as you might think to really feel an activation. So a few inches, a few millimeters, we'll take it, right? Just really focusing on adding in that disruption, okay? Right side complete. Let's move over to our left here. Pushing those hips back, keep that chest up. Again, remember that arm placement, opposite hand to opposite knee as you drive that knee up. Good. Five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Find our breath here. Find our hydration if we need. Squat to forward press here, coming up for the last and final time. Again, squeeze those palms together. If that's where we're at with this round, squeeze those palms together to really activate our chest here. Here we go, team. We are up in two, one, and time. Sit down into that squat, wherever it may be, to our comfort level, but also we wanna challenge ourselves. Nice deep breath in. Exhale would be your breath cadence on the way out. Out of that five, stand up. Sit back in for those last 20 seconds. We're gonna sit back in for that full 20 seconds here. Squeezing at the top. Take your time here. We're seated, pushing through that last eight seconds. Good, five, four, and we're done. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Put that down, put down that dumbbell. You won't see it again today, team unless you take a double. Replay this at a later date. Eight seconds here, we are on the floor for that last and final round. That last and final movement. 
Last movement is our best movement. High plank position, three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Try and extend. If we need to do one limb at a time, that's okay. Extend that arm, see how it feels. Then extend that leg, see how it feels. Build up to this movement. Halfway there, team. Again, try to keep our hips square to the floor. Back is flat. Head is looking down at our fingertips. 10 seconds here. Good. Last four. Three. Slow count. Two. One. And time. Good job. All right. Sidenberry, good job. As we raise back up here. Whew. Again, great work today, BFIT Nation. As I catch my breath as well. Fun. Uh, these workouts should be fun. So enjoy them, all right? They shouldn't feel like a chore. So enjoy the workouts. Have fun with them. Have fun with just mixing things up and getting active, 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 right? Sparking that new, energetic, active lifestyle that we're trying to achieve, right? Every small step can really build onto that compound goal of what we are trying to achieve here, okay? If it's better health, a wellness, physical fitness, testing for a PT test, right, ACFT or a uh, PT test, uh, any of these movements can really translate well to a testing environment. We're working these same targeted muscle groups that you can apply within your testing as well. Um, also, these movements are also functional, right? So whatever movements you've applied to within this space, can really take and translate uh, to any type of movement uh, outside of the fitness space, right? So if it's getting out of the car, getting out of the seat, if you were uh, picking up uh, your child, or if it's laterally moving to the left and to the right, uh, at a grocery store, any of these movements can be functional, and you can really take these uh, anywhere and, any, and everywhere. So uh, with that, that's our BFIT Live program. If you were new, this is what to expect with myself and Sergeant Barry uh, during these just under 30 minute programmed workout. So we have a lot of fun here. Sergeant Barry, anything from your end? <laughs> no, it was great fun. And the best part is now your workout's in. Then you can enjoy your day and you know it's done and I can eat lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, All right? And, and speaking of lunch here, be mindful of our nutrition, right? Our nutrition plays a key role in our active lifestyle and in, in, in starting and creating that better, healthy, active lifestyle. So think about that nutrition um, whenever you were finished with your workout or before, but think of that nutrition throughout the day, right? Make those better for you options. And if you uh, need the exchange to help, we are here to help you with better for you options available at our exchange restaurants. Search for those healthier choice items, those better for you options available at our express, our main stores with our express store. We have smart snacking options available to you as well. So head on over to our express stores with those smart snacking options where we have a shelf tag that's available to really take the ease and the guesswork out of visiting our express. Um, also, with any active wear, sports wear, um, fitness trackers, things like that, the exchange has those available and ready for you as well to take advantage of at uh, an in-store or online at shopmyexchange.com. All right, BFit Nation, um, I think that's all my notes here. I think we've done a great job today, uh, Sergeant Barry and myself. I, I know this workout really challenged us. Again, a full lower body workout as well as some nice upper body movements to really complement each movement. So um, that's it on my end. Sergeant Barry, any last words from you? No, thanks again for joining us. Be proud of yourself. It's a great workout. Have a great rest of your week. Yes, absolutely. A great way to kind of midweek push here. So have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on our Facebook page. Here we are. Signing off here, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. We'll see you next time.